Hey guys, what's going on? Been a while since I made a video, but the tank's looking amazing. I just pulled a batch of uh, bristlenose fry and my kitty. This kitty rubbing up against me, so if you see a bump in my arm, you know who's doing it. But anyways, it's the 55 gallon. Had some issues with the CO2 art um, regulator, but it wasn't nothing really. I mean, so the needle valve was like stuck. It would go, it wouldn't even turn off. So, and then, and you try to open it up, but it was stuck at like one bubble per second, which is still fine because I, I like to run two, but on this tank um but yeah i've been dealing with co2 art they sent me a new needle valve if you know anything about co2 art their needle valve is a little bit sensitive so it goes like zero to a thousand like real quick and they and they were awesome love co2 art shout out to them for the awesome service they gave me um i mean they were they really went through some steps to make sure to narrow it down to what the problem was and they definitely fixed it and they sent me a new needle valve that i think they're gonna start put, he said it was a prototype and i think they're gonna start putting them on all the new co2 art regulators because it's a lot better easier to adjust um it's not as finicky and i love it and it fixed the problem so Shout out to CO2 art. No no cost on that either. So let's check out some of these guys. See the blue rams. Electric blue balloon rams. I think I have 10 of those now. Um, I also got about 10 cardinal tetras. And there's my golds. Those are the gold balloon long fin rams like if you can see his tail it's ridiculous oh there's the stunner right there i see there he is in the back he is beautiful and i got some cherry shrimp in this tank too you can see him inside some of the plants and down along the bottom and they help clean this tank up but if you know anything about this tank i've been dealing with blackbeard allergy in this tank for over a year and I completely rescaped it cleaned it put everything out and it came back <laughs> I changed all the plants out and everything this used to be all low tech I had well I had some dwarf sag carpet in the front and java fern and some crips in the back and some uh, scarlet red and it just completely destroyed my tank. I, the BBA was so bad. And I tried everything. XL, Flourish, everybody swore by. Didn't work. So I finally got the syringe. And so I got rid of the BBA. But I'm getting a little bit of hair algae. So I cut back on my feedings i'm not giving i haven't given it any fertilizer in probably three weeks and you can see i just got a little bit left here but i'm saying this plant was covered in it and it's looking a little little weak this plant is usually full and vibrant so probably next week i'm gonna give it some more fertilizer but you can see the rest of it i mean and it's crazy because since i stopped giving fertilizer these plants over here this red is going crazy it it looked and i just ordered these guys this is more scarlet red i had completely got rid of it um with the bba and i just ordered some more from aquarium co-op and it's it, it melted back and this i cut it and replanted it and now it's starting to grow and you see how many cuttings i got at least 10 for the one plant but sand's looking super white. I mean, even with the BBA, it would grow on the sand. And it, it 
it, it, I hate it. I hate it. It's the worst. Almost ruined my experience with the hobby as well. But look at these Rams, guys. Goodness gracious. I got three of those golds, too. The long fins. Beautiful. I love this tank, guys. These guys are awesome. Turn the brightness down a lot just to get rid of that glare. So you can, oh, I also got that. You see that uh, jungle vow in the back? Beautiful. I just love this tank, though. Always makes me feel good. High tech plants. I got the night crew. Or not the night crew, just the beams work. DA RGB. Got an FX4 on this tank and an Aqua Clear 110. But I turned the flow like way down. So it's nothing too aggressive for these guys. And you see my rummies? Where are my rummies? There they are. Dude, they hide. They're not even got their red nose right now because they're hiding. Lights just came on a little while ago, but they're so terrible. This is the worst group of rummies ever on. I had rummies in this tank at one time. I had 50 of them, and they would dance back and forth on the glass just all day. That's what they did. But I, I love the rams. They're one of my favorite fish in a hobby. Hope you're enjoying them too, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. The fork down there was for zucchini for the plecos. Which just had babies. I got about seven fry. I don't pull the eggs. I just, I, you see the cave back there underneath? Get those off of Amazon for the low, guys. Don't pay $15 for one cave when you get eight of them for 20 bucks. It's clay. It's like the clay pots. Um, but yeah, I seen one baby on the glass. And I was like, oh my God, I caught him. And then I got the male to come out of the cave, and I grabbed the cave, and I dumped it, and I got a bunch of babies. Oh, you want to see some babies? Let me show you guys. Now, also, last night, I just had a bunch of guppy fry. The, the mama, I mean, she popped off a bunch, probably about 30 babies, and these are red-tailed pandas. Or not red-tailed pandas, red-tailed dumbo eared. But you see the baby bristle nose down there. I got about seven of them. Can't wait for these guppy fry to hatch. Or not hatch, but to actually grow bigger. This variant, this red-tailed dumbo ear, they seem to grow super slow. I also have a breeding group of Koi Tuxedo short bodies, and they are amazing. And they don't eat their fry, so I don't have to separate them. The mama on that uh, red tail Dumbo ear, just, she eats all the fry. So I just started to catch them and separate them. And, but the Koi Tuxedo, they don't eat the fry. And I got about 10 babies over there, and they, are, they grow a lot faster. And they're short body, which is crazy, but they're... It's probably my favorite. I have to show you. I've been doing a lot of things, guys. Adding a lot of new fish. I just got some Kamaka Rainbows to add to the 75 gallon. They're settling in really nicely. Um, the L134 Leopard Frog Plecos are doing great. Eating a lot. Growing fast. Well, I wouldn't say they're a fast grower. But uh, for they're super healthy. So let's leave it at that. But anyways, guys, it's my time. Appreciate y'all watching. Have a great day. Stay fishy.